the point whatever on the circle has reached the highest point. To get the next points once again the circle has to roll forward for another pi d by 2. To get those points we can go by the same approach. The radius will remain same. The center is always along the side. Only the height of the point has to follow. Take the radius. This is the radius of circle. The next point is C5. The line coming from 5 is over here. I have to take C5 as the center. I have to cut on this path. This gives me the next point P5. So while cutting the arcs here towards left, I am cutting the arcs towards left. When I am drawing the curve on the right, I have to cut arcs towards right. The reason is the point has reached the highest point. Now the point has to fall downwards in this direction. Now to get the further point P6, the approach is obviously same. You have to do take this radius, whatever the radius, the radius is fixed, that is 25 mm obviously, and you have to keep the center C6, keep it 6, C6, then cut on the line coming from 6. This will give the next point on the curve, P6. To get P7, once again go back, take the radius, the radius will remain same, the center has to be C7, keep it over here, cut the arc. This will be P7 and the last point on the curve will be over here P0 or P8. So what I got is the further part of the curve. These are the first four points. For the other four points, once again in the similar way, draw a thin line passing through all the points on the curve. Just like this, draw a curve. It has to pass through all these points. Later on, make it dark with a firm and dark curve. Only what I am supposed to show is this curve. And the curve drawn should not be have, should not have any waviness. This is the ascent for the curve and this is the descent. This entire path what I drawn can be called as cyclone. By definition, it matches our definition. It's the locus of a point on the periphery or the circumference of a circle. As the circle is moving forward, there is one motion, rolling motion, other one is forward motion, both the motions are put together to get this path and the name of the curve obviously is cycloid, this curve is a cycloid. Okay, what we have done is we have constructed according to our problem statement what I have given, we have constructed the required cycloidal path. The further part of the problem is draw a tangent and normal to the curve at any convenient point. So when I tell convenient point, let us take any point. So let me take the point is somewhere over here. At this point, let me take point A. At this point, I have to draw a tangent and a normal to the curve. For that, first of all, every curve is drawn with related to some center. So what I am doing is, I will take radius and the point where I am supposed to draw tangent and normal, just I'll cut on this center line, where exactly the center for this curve has to lie. So I'll cut like this, it's somewhere over here. So this distance, what I cut is the radius. So take this radius, cut on the center line. Let's run, drop a vertical line to touch the base line. Connect what are it is from here, I have cut a arc to get the center, drop a vertical line, then connect from here to here. Okay, this line extended is going to give me the tangent for the curve and draw a line perpendicular to it, that's going to give me the tangent for the curve. That will give tangent for the curve. 